Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll discuss flow restrictors, what they are, and how they work. So if you're curious about this small but essential device, stick around until the end of the video. What is a flow restrictor? A flow restrictor is a device used to control the flow of water, air, or any other fluid in a system. It is typically made up of a small, cylindrical piece inserted into a pipeline to regulate the flow of liquid or gas. These devices are widely used in different industries, including water treatment plants, irrigation systems, and household appliances like faucets and shower heads. 2. How does a flow restrictor work? The flow restrictor works on a very simple principle. It creates a constriction in the pipeline, reducing the amount of fluid that can pass through it. This constriction can be created in different ways, depending on the flow restrictor used. Common methods include using an orifice plate, a nozzle, or a venturi tube. The flow restrictor's size and shape are critical in determining how much fluid can pass through it. Typically, the smaller the size of the restrictor, the lesser the flow of fluid that can pass through it. That is why the smaller size creates more resistance to the fluid flow, resulting in a lower flow rate. 3. Why are flow restrictors important? Flow restrictors are essential for some reasons. 1. They help conserve water and other resources by reducing the amount of wasted fluid. 2. They help to maintain a consistent flow rate in a system, which can be important in certain applications. 3. They can also help to prevent damage to pipelines and other components of a system by reducing the amount of stress on them. That's a brief overview of flow restrictors and how they work. While they may seem small and insignificant, they play a crucial role in maintaining the efficiency and longevity of many different types of systems. If you have any questions or comments about this topic, you are welcome to contact UHPLCs via email at salesuhplcs.com or leave your questions in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next video.